Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. In mid-September of 2021, I had the opportunity to go camping with my nephew Daniel. Daniel had been camping only a couple of times previously in his life, once on a school trip and then last year with a group of friends. At a family gathering, he and I talked of putting together a trip for the two of us where I could show him what I do when I venture out. Finally, the opportunity presented itself, and I booked a trip to a park I had never been to before. Rastoul Provincial Park is in north-central Ontario, and from what I had read, featured a lookout trail with a beautiful view. We packed our gear, and very early on the Friday morning, I picked Daniel up for our trip north. An important part of each trip is stopping to pick up breakfast and a beverage. We got what we needed and made our four and a half hour drive up the road where we finally arrived at our destination. We checked in at the park gatehouse, then drove a short distance to the campsite. The site was small and not very private. There was barely enough room for my five-man tent and two picnic tables. We set about erecting the shelters, including a tarp, over one of the picnic tables. The forecast called for rain later in the day on Saturday, so the tarp was an important consideration. Once we had the site set up to our satisfaction, it was time to hit the Fire Tower hiking trail I had read about. The trail was well marked, and in about 45 minutes, we found ourselves looking out over a magnificent vista taking in Stormy Lake and the surrounding wilderness. Afterwards, it was back to the site and time for a great dinner of campfire cooked sausages. With the hike out of the way, the path was cleared for Saturday's main event. We woke up refreshed in the morning, had a nice breakfast, then enjoyed each other's company for a while. After lunch, we prepared for our Parks on the Air activation. You won't get it on the first try. Ah, s'mores on me! Am I ready to go? You are ready when ready. Oh, you were close, man. You know what happened here? I can see the paracord uh, kind of got snagged up on the end of the, to the bottom of the tent here. So let's try this again. Yeah. That's close. <laughs> uh, you were really close. Not bad, eh? Yeah, very impressive. Awesome. I had brought along an end-fed random wire antenna. Since we knew rain was on the way, I wrapped the coax cable connections tightly with electrical tape. The rig was my Yesu FT891, set to 20 watts output. Daniel and I set it up, and in the mid-afternoon, we sat down to make contacts. Daniel is not a ham operator, but radio runs in his family. His mother's parents are immigrants to Canada having arrived from Italy in the 1960s. His grandfather is a ham radio operator, but has not operated for many years. This being the case, Daniel was interested in learning more about the hobby. I figured a Parks on the Air activation would be a fun way to introduce him to present-day ham radio. Daniel picked up the pen and was prepped to do the logging for me. Here's how we did. Mm -hmm. There it is. You see it? See the red light? Yeah. Tells us that we're recording. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is, okay, we're also going to record, in this case, we're going to record his park number. So there's me, who's in a park, and people are trying to contact me and they want my park number. Occasionally we'll find somebody okay, well, else who's also in a park, and we want to exchange park numbers. So I have to record his park number. Okay, so let's let's give this a shot and see how it goes. Victor Echo 3 Tango Whiskey Mike. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. So. Yeah, 
ISWR was high. I needed to engage the team. So he's talking to a guy from North Carolina. Did you like that? Yeah. A little bit. Ah, mobile. Okay, and you're in North Carolina. So they're also, we also exchange signal reports. So typically a signal report is something along the lines of 5-5. Five, five. And what that means is, I can read what you're, say, what you're saying, that's the first five. And the second five is, your S meter reading is five. See, so five, seven, nine, twenty. Okay, so that would be five and five. If he's having trouble hearing me, he might come back and say three and three. So your voice is kind of in the noise, and, and you're only coming in about there. So I tell him mine, he tells me, you know, I tell him what I'm, how I'm receiving him. He tells me how he's receiving me and we record that. So what we have is, uh, so we have um, a sent report and a received report. What I sent, what I received, okay? And the other thing is we need time recording. So, I don't know if you want to use my phone to record time, but for every one, we need to have that, okay? But first things first, let's try to make the contact with this guy. Recovery, Romeo, call, Kenya, at Oak Point State Park. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mike, Park to Park. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mike, uh, please come, you have 59 at Oak Point, and that's 1981. One nine eight one. Five nine one nine eight one. QSL, please copy five and seven at VE zero three six three. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you, you too, sir. Okay. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Victor Echo three, Tango Whiskey Mike. From VE 0363. Kilo Echo 8 Station, Kilo Echo 8 Station, come back please. Kilo Echo 8 Station, Victor Alpha, you're 5 8 in Ohio. Did you copy him? Please call sign? Sorry, please, please forgive me. Um, Kilo Echo 8, could I have the suffix please? Kilo Alpha 8. Kilo Alpha 8, Lima, Victor, Alpha. Kilo Alpha 8, Lima, Victor, Alpha. Thank you very much. I've got a, a somebody who's new to ham radio taking the log here, and I appreciate your patience. I've got you a 5 and a 7 into VE 0363, sir. Kilo Echo 8, not Alpha. Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Echo 8. QSL on the Kilo Echo 8. Kilo Echo 8. Got that. Five eight zero eight. Thank you very much. And if you if you have the opportunity, could you spot me on the page, please? Thank you very much. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Really appreciate the contact. Is there a Juliet Charlie Alpha station in there? Okay, Charlie Alpha station, please come back. I got a couple stations in there. Could the Charlie Alpha station come back, please? Victor Echo 2. Victor Echo 2. Okay, Victor Echo 2 and your suffix, sir. Please forgive me. We're we're in a noisy location here. Juliet Charlie Alpha. Okay, Victor Echo 2, Juliet Charlie Alpha. Please copy 5 and 7 from VE 0363. QSL, QSL, Roger that. Roger that. You are 55. 55. Quebec. QC. 
Roger on the 55 from Quebec, thank you very much for the contact. I really appreciate it. Yes, I'm standing by. Thank you for alerting me because I can't hear that other station, so maybe I'll move frequency. Foxtrot Tango X ray. Foxtrot Tango X ray. Use the same next line down. Foxtrot Tango X ray. But it's Victor Echo 2. Okay, Victor Echo 2. Foxtrot Tango X ray. This is Victor Echo 3. Tango Whiskey Mike. You are 5 and 7 into VE 0363, QSL. Thank you for the 5-5 five five into Montreal. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Really appreciate the contact. Thank you for that. I will QSY. I really appreciate that, uh, that heads up. Okay, have a great weekend, folks. Uh, this is Victor Echo 3 Tango Whiskey Mike. I'm off in search of a clear frequency. We had made a few contacts, but something was not right. The band noise was very low, and received signal strengths were not good. Also, the automatic antenna tuner would find a match, but on the next transmission, the SWR would be high again. I suspected there might be an issue with placement of the counterpoise wire, so I relocated it and tried again. Still, the same issue prevailed. The afternoon was moving along quickly, and I realized we were going to run out of time and daylight. We still had a campfire to prep and cook our dinner with, and that was going to take a while. My time to figure out the antenna issue was very limited. I have a strategy I employ when I go camping with ham radio. The Navy SEALs have a motto, two is one, one is none. With this in mind, I always bring two antennas with me. This is especially important if I am trying an antenna I've never used before. The NFED random wire was new to me, and I did not have enough time on this day to troubleshoot. I made the decision to pull it down and deploy the N9SAB linked dipole I had brought along as a backup. Once that was done, Daniel and I got the fire going, had dinner, then sat down in the early evening to see if we would have better success with the dipole on 40 meters. Here's how it went. November Foxtrot Station, come back please. Okay, November, I've got a Foxtrot Delta India. Uh, did I miss part of your call, sir? What was the numeral? November 8, 8, Fox Delta India, 5, Oh, thank you very much. November 8, Fox Delta India. Please copy 5 and 5 from VE 0363. Kilo Charlie 1, November Yankee. Kilo Charlie 1, November Yankee. Uh, please come again, sir. Kilo Charlie 1, November Yankee. You're 5-9 and Maine. Mike Echo. Copy the 5-9 in Maine. Mike Echo. Please copy 5-9 plus 20. Uh, VE 0363. There's an Oscar Hotel station. Please come back. Roger. Here's Kilo Bravo 9. Oscar Hotel. Oscar. Kilo Bravo 9. Oscar Hotel. I caught the Kilo Bravo 9 in the Oscar Hotel. What was the final letter, sir? Oscar. Oscar. Oscar Hotel. Oscar. Kilo Kilo Bravo 9. Oscar Hotel Oscar. QSL. Copy the 5x6 into Whiskey India. You are a 5-9, solid 5-9, beautiful signal. I apologize, I've just got a bit of noise coming through, which is uh, which is wiping out even good signals. Thank you very much for the contact, really appreciate it. Very good, uh, 
Did you have any questions on that one? Nope, I got okay. everything. Okay, awesome. Well done, sir. You're picking this up. Okay. One more. Huh? Yeah. Park to park. Park to park station. Go ahead, please. Okay, I copy the field. Victor, Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike, QSL. QSL on the call sign. Okay, no, great. That's me. You are uh, a nice 5-6 at the park, Kilo 1335 in the um, state of Kilo. One, three, three, five, November four. I uh, sorry, correction. Could I? Could you have semi the call back to me, sir, one more time? Yes, the call again. November four, Quebec Echo Tango. November four, Quebec Echo Tango. Thank you very much. November four, Quebec Echo Tango. Um, I have a, I have a new somebody who's new to ham radio keeping the log for me and he's trying his best and uh, he's figuring it out but just a little bit slowly so I thank you for your patience you've got a nice five nine signal into VE zero three six three sir Copy zero three six three USL Roger 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 okay is that a uh, Victor Echo uh, zero three six three Victor Echo 0363 QSL. Now, did okay, you get his parking? I'm in the state of Pennsylvania uh, and greeting to your uh, logger there, and I'm glad you got some help and uh, have fun out there. 73. Uh, forgive me, sir. Uh, we didn't catch the call, so, sorry, not the call sign, but the park number. Could you repeat the park number for me? Uh, Roger, Roger. Kilo 1335. Kilo 1335. QSL, thanks so much for your patience. Truly appreciate it. Uh, enjoy your activation out there and good luck. Okay, 73, 10 4 QEC, moving on. Remember, that's our part. Kilo program. Fox 3, Echo Bravo. Kilo Fox 3, Echo Bravo. Kilo Fox 3, Echo Bravo. This is Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Come on back, sir. Roger, uh, you're 5-9 plus in western Pennsylvania. The name here is Rick. 5-9 PA. Hey, Rick, thank you very much for the 5-9 plus from western Pennsylvania. You are a very solid 5-9 into VE-0363. Roger, Roger. Thank you for the park and have fun with your activation. Over. Hey, thank you very much for the contact. Have a wonderful weekend. Daniel was an eager and patient student, and it didn't take long before he started to get the hang of it. He did a great job. We ended up with more than 30 contacts overall. The activation was a success. The next time we go out, I'd like to give Daniel the mic. I'm sure he'll do very well. That's all for this time. My thanks to my nephew Daniel for joining me on this memorable trip. I hope it is the first of many we take together. My thanks also to you for watching. Please feel free to leave your comments below. I read them all and I respond to as many as I can. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 73 from Tracy, VE3TWM.